Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your location news update. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of News on Location, the final episode of the spring 2017 semester. I'm Brian Nestle. And I'm Angelina Miller. A few weeks ago, we filled you in on how the large size of the class of 2021 was leading Cabrini to shake things up a bit with housing arrangements for next year. More specifically, the Residence Life Office had intended to use two apartment buildings located on the campus of Valley Forge Military Academy to house several upperclassmen students. Unfortunately, Cabrini wasn't able to finalize the contract negotiations for those units though, making the apartments at Valley Forge no longer available for the Cabrini University housing lottery process. Returning resident students who desired on-campus housing for fall 2017 were notified about this changeup by Susan Kramer, the Director of Residence Life, a mere day before the housing selection process took place. Here with me today to talk about his feelings on the fast-paced changes in Carini's housing lottery is Rick Stone, a rising junior student here at Carini University. So Rick, how do you feel about finding out that you can no longer live on Valley Forge's campus a mere day before the lottery process? I feel awful. This is the worst thing that could possibly happen to this campus. Um, I could try to move back in with my parents, but they're not going to let me. So I have to move into a box with my hamsters, and I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it. Well, I know that you're pretty friendly with people here on campus, so what do other people think? You know, your friends, other people around Cabrini? Nobody else has housing. We're going to go down to Res Life. We're, we're, we're going to give them hell. We're going we're gonna to go down there. We're going to put our foot down, and we're going we're gonna to show him his boss. Okay, well... Thanks for coming in today. That's all we have time for, but best of luck to you for your housing arrangements for next year. If you or anyone you know has any questions at all about Cabrini's housing process for campus next year, contact our Residence Life Office at 610-902-8410. Over 150 people recently attended the opening of a new Center on Immigration. On Thursday, April 27th, Cabrini University opened the Center on Immigration, which promotes immigrant rights through research, education, and advocacy. The center highlights how students and faculty have helped extend the work of the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It also hopes to give students another opportunity in the pursuit of social justice and the advancement of human rights. At Cabrini, the honors keep on coming. The university has been recognized as one of the top 50 best colleges in PA one of the top 50 best small colleges in the nation, and as a college of distinction. These honors come as Cabrini prepares to host its first commencement as a university during its 60th anniversary year. Graduation day is getting really close, and the details are being finalized for the 2017 commencement ceremony, as Cabrini recently announced that Natalie Charitola will be this year's valedictorian. Our own Haley Curtis and Keith Brown have more on Natalie. The class of 2017 is getting ready for graduation day. Natalie Terratola is this year's valedictorian and has worked very hard over the last four years as an education major. Her hard work has definitely paid off. When I was looking at schools, I was actually looking for schools with a really good education program. And I had a few schools in mind, but when it came down to it and I toured Cabrini, it was definitely, I chose Cabrini for the education program and it was great. Here at Cabrini, I think one major thing that Cabrini does is they set up a really good community, and all of the professors that have helped me, especially within the education program, have really made me feel at home, have really made me feel like I can accomplish things, and they've always pushed me to the greatest of my ability, and they've always made me just go above and beyond and take that extra step. And it clearly has paid off, um, but it's just been really great. And I'd say the professors and just the community here and having everybody together as a whole has definitely formed me into the person I am today. To be valedictorian means the world to me. I actually didn't even consider it a couple years ago when I came here. My goal was to maintain a high GPA. And I, ever since that first semester, I was like, okay, it feels good to get a 4.0. So I continued and continued. And then junior year, someone said to me, oh, you're probably going to be valedictorian. And I was like, what? Didn't even consider it. And then as it got closer, I was like, wow, like this, this is really cool. It's, it, it feels good to be able to maintain this and reach my goals and all of those things. I'd have to give a lot of credit to my family. Throughout my time here at Cabrini, they have definitely been the people to fall back on. And it's nice to have that support system and people to push me and say, you can do it when I feel like, hmm, not too positive I can. It's just having someone there to be able to say, no, you can and I know you can, so just try. Natalie and the rest of the class of 2017 will kick off commencement weekend with the hooding ceremony on May 20th with commencement on May 21st. And on April 27th, Cabrini Communications students were honored in an induction to the Society for Collegiate Journalists. 
Every student inducted was notably recognized for their strong dedication and leadership in Cabrini communication courses, but specifically in the pursuit of a future career in journalism. And I feel bad for those students who no longer have that housing option, especially for that Rick Stone guy. I oh, know, man. right? I hope he has like a, bought a big laundry uh, box lately, because uh, otherwise a small box, not exactly ideal <laughs> to live in with a hamster. <laughs> anyway, sure that. <laughs> well, that'll do it for this edition of News on Location. Make sure you follow us on social media all summer long. I know you'll miss us. We'll miss you, too. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You name it, we have it. So since this is the last episode of the semester, we'd like to thank everyone behind the scenes who put in their hard work all semester long, producers, editors, and everyone else who makes this magic happen. For News on Location, I'm Brian Estel. And I'm Angelina Miller. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great year.